Hello friends, welcome to PHP video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorials, we discussed if statement and if else statement. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss else if ladder statement. Else if ladder statement helps us to check multiple conditional expressions. We can check more than one conditions using else if ladder statement. The syntax is we write the if keyword conditional expression 1 true part of the if conditional expression 1. Then we write the else if keyword conditional expression 2 true part of the else if conditional expression 2 and so on. Else if keyword conditional expression n true part of the else if conditional expression n then we write the else block which is going to be the false part of the else if conditional expression n. Note if no conditional expression evaluates to true then the else block is executed. Let's have a demo and understand how do we use the else if ladder statement in PHP. I go to vamp server www directory. Within the www directory, we have created default.php file. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see that default.php file is open inside the notepad. It has the basic HTML5 document structure code. Title is set to default page. Here in the body section, I say less than question mark PHP which indicates the beginning of the PHP code, question mark greater than, which indicates the end of the PHP code. Here, I am going to create one variable called as day, set the value 1 to it. If day is 1, I want to display Sunday. If day is 2, I want to display Monday. Like that, I want to display the days, guys. So here, what we can do is, we can say if dollar $day equal to equal to 1, opening flower bracket, closing flower bracket, echo, Sunday, semicolon. At present, the day is 1, 1 equal to 1 is true, so this block is executed, will get Sunday displayed. I say file, save, go to browser. Here I say localhost forward slash default.php. We know that localhost points to vamp server www directory. Within that, we have default.php file. To execute it, I must say localhost forward slash default.php. I hit enter, you see that default.php file is executed, we got the output Sunday. Next. I am going to change this day to 2. We can check one more condition if we want. Here we use the else if keyword and then we write the expression 2. Dollar $day is equal to equal to 2 and then we write the true part for this conditional expression 2. Here I say echo Monday semicolon. What happens here is day is 2, 2 equal to 1 will be checked first, 2 equal to 1 is false. So the control comes to this else if keyword. 2 equal to 2 will be checked. Yes, it is true. So this block will be executed. We'll get the Monday. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got Monday. Like that, we can check more conditions. Here I'm going to say else if dollar $day equal to equal to 3, opening flower bracket, closing flower bracket, echo, Tuesday. Here I set the value 3. Day is 3. 3 equal to 1 is false. 3 equal to 2 is false. So the control comes to here. 3 equal to 3 is true. It displays Tuesday. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see we got Tuesday. I go back and say here else if dollar $day equal to equal to 4. Then echo Wednesday. I change the value here to 4. First it checks whether day equal to 1. No. Day is 4. Whether day equal to 2. No. Whether day equal to 3. No. Whether day equal to 4, yes. So it displays Wednesday. File, save, go to browser and refresh. See, we got Wednesday. I go back and say here, else if dollar $day equal to equal to 5, opening flower bracket, closing flower bracket, echo Thursday, semicolon. And I change the day value here 5. First it checks whether day equal to 1, no, it is 5. Whether day equal to 2, no. Whether day equal to 3, no. Whether day equal to 4, no. Whether day equal to 5, yes. It displays Thursday. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see we got Thursday. I go back. I say here, else if dollar $day equal to equal to 6, opening flower bracket, closing flower bracket, echo Friday, semicolon. And here I say 6. It checks from top to down. Whether day equal to 1, no. Whether day equal to 2, no. Whether day equal to 3, no. Whether day equal to 4, no. Whether day equal to 5, no. Whether day equal to 6, yes. It executes this code, we get Friday. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see we got Friday. I go back, 
and say here else if dollar day equal to equal to seven opening flower bracket closing flower bracket echo Saturday semicolon and I change the value here to seven file save it checks whether day is one no it is seven whether day is two no whether day is three no whether day is four no whether day is five no whether day is six no whether day is seven yes it displays Saturday file save go to browser and refresh you see we got Saturday and then at last what we can do is we can use the else block and here we can say echo invalid day semicolon for example if we give some other value instead of 1 to 7 let's take if I give 8 what happens here is it checks whether day is 1 no whether day is 2 no whether day is 3 no whether day is 4 no whether day is 5 no whether day is 6 no whether day is 7 no then it goes to the else part and displays invalid day file save go to browser and refresh it has displayed invalid day I go back and if I set here let's take 1 what happens day equal to 1 is true here it displays the Sunday it will not execute from here to here any code guys this entire part is treated as the false part for this if conditional expression if I say file save go to browser and refresh Sunday is displayed remember that for this if statement this block is the true part and entire part from here to here is the false part and for this else if statement this is the true part and this entire thing is considered as the false part if true part is executed the false part will be skipped right if false part is executed true part will be skipped so that is how you can use the else if statement to check multiple conditional expressions there is an alternative syntax we write the if keyword conditional expression 1 colon true part of the if conditional expression 1 then we write else if keyword conditional expression 2 colon true part of the else if conditional expression 2 and so on we write else if keyword conditional expression n colon true part of the else if conditional expression n else colon false part of the else if conditional expression n note if no conditional expression evaluates to true then the else block is executed let me go back I am going to comment this entire code I say for slash star and say here star for slash everything is comment here file save go to browser and refresh we don't get any output now let's write the same code using the alternative syntax here I say dollar day equal to one semicolon we write if dollar day equal to equal to one colon echo we say here Sunday semicolon then we say else if dollar day equal to equal to two colon echo Monday semicolon I am going to copy this code three four five six seven here I say three four five six seven Sunday Monday here I say Tuesday here I say Wednesday here I say Thursday here I say Friday here I say Saturday and here I say else colon echo invalid day and at last I say here end if semicolon as day is 1 1 equal to 1 is true it displays Sunday that's it I say file save go to browser and refresh you see we got Sunday I go back here if I set here 3 what happens first it checks whether day is 1 no it is 3 whether day is 2 no whether day is 3 yes it displays Tuesday file save go to browser and refresh you see we got Tuesday if we write something else let's take minus 100 it checks whether day is 1 no whether day is 2 no whether day is 3 no whether day is 4 no whether day is 5 no whether day is 6 no whether day is 7 no so it goes to the else block displays invalid day here I told that if no conditional expression evaluates to true then the else block is executed or else part is executed file save go to browser and refresh you see we got invalid day that is how we can use the else if ladder statement to check the multiple conditional expressions I think for this video tutorial this much is enough friends I suggest you people to try this code yourself experiment with some other example in the next video tutorial we are going to discuss more about PHP 
For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys, thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.